This is our son, Kentucky, last name fried chicken. We love him so much. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. There's an ancient philosophical quandary that asks, can God microwave a burrito so hot she herself cannot eat it? Now I cannot tell you the answer to that question, but I can answer an even more important question. Can I take a Chipotle burrito and wrap it around a KFC drumstick and deep fry it and make it delicious? Oh yeah. Big time. All right, Nicole, so you were the one that originally made this for the KFC Chipotle menu merge episode mm -hmm. on GMM. It's too freaking good not to share the recipe, so we're giving it to y'all as an early Arbor Day gift. If you're following along at home, snag the time codes right over there, and there's a full recipe breakdown down below. Josh, uh, what are those? What are those question marks? I've never seen, can we just put it in? Yeah, anyways, we'll figure it out. And if you like podcasts, Nicole and I have a podcast called A Hot Dog is a Sanderson. The newest episode dropped yesterday. Find it wherever you get your podcast. Just let go. Sorry. Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. All right, Nicole, so you came up with this. Now tell the world, how did you do it? You ate my microphone. All right, so the idea here is we're essentially creating a deep fried chimichanga-esque dumpling. Mm -hmm with Chipotle burrito ingredients around a KFC drumstick. Exactly. So the first thing we're gonna do is griddle our tortilla. Can you tell the people at home why we griddle our tortillas? Wow, Nicole, I'm so glad you asked. Actually, this is a huge thing, and I was once called a snob because I was at like a Taco Tuesday party and I insisted that we griddle the tortillas and they called me a snob and mm -hmm. I left. When you griddle a tortilla, it becomes pliable. Otherwise, when you fold it, it can break. And since we're folding it in such an intricate pattern around the chicken drumsticks, yep. you want that to be nice and pliable. I must say, out of all the things you've taught me since I started working here, this is the most important piece of information because I used to roll my tortillas and they'd all come out like weird and like mm -hmm. crispy and crunchy on the sides and just not good. But since I started grilling my tortillas, they're more pliable and I get a better burrito. So thanks for that, I like to think that I taught you like more important life lessons. No, not really. What about the time Trevor and I taught you how to shoot free throws? I don't know how to play sports. Take a chicken <laughs> drumstick and throw it in the middle. Throw but, it in the middle. Yeah, I'm but trying make to, I'm sure... picking a beauty one. No, this is a pretty one. No, <laughs> no. So you're not like so putting these down initially and then folding it around. No, I like to keep the chicken drumstick in, a, in an angle where I can see where everything ah, is happening. And then I'm gonna fill the center and on the sides with the stuff. So you can fill it with whatever you want. We have barbacoa and black beans. I like that. I like barbacoa yeah. and black beans. I but, love um, learning new things about you. Yeah, yeah. you'd think we'd know everything about each other and we'd run out of things to talk about. No, every Wednesday we manage to just word vomit out 45 minutes. That's good. I think, I think that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now condiments, you can do condiments. The same thing with your condiments. We have some corn salsa, which is actually my favorite thing from Chipotle. Yes. The red salsa, which is Dank. I know the uh, queso is a very uh, polarizing thing there, but I love the queso from there. Just a little dollop, not too much. And then a little bit of guac. Just a, just a, a scotch. I don't want scotch. guac. Not you don't want of, guac? Not made of money. You don't want guac? Not made of money. Do you want me to put guac in it? Mm, a little, a little bit, a little bit. Like, like a little like, ow, oh, I hit my hip. I heard, I heard your yeah, hip Yeah, my hip pop. So let's, this is a clock, okay? 12 o'clock, nine o'clock. Nine okay. o'clock, we're gonna fold in. And then 12 o'clock kind of came over here, so I'm gonna fold it in again. And it kind of has like a little hat now. Wow, look at that I cute little hat. That. And then I, I kind of bunch it up like so. And then if I have any extra, I just kind of like do one of these and I hold it in place. And now are we gonna wrap twine around it? We are, I already cut some I off it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do you want like a, like a double wind? Sailors, Windsor? a sailor. Like a boat knot? Uh, Sure, I don't know what a boat knot is. I only know how to tie knots from uh, watching Fifty Shades. It's a sailor show. <laughs> I never saw Fifty Shades. Yeah. Or read it. I read it. You like to read? Yeah. What's your favorite book? In the Fifty Shades canon, um, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Freed. Uh huh. That's perfect. Um, okay, great. All good. Fifty Shades Darker, I don't think Bridge the Gap. So we have a little bit of seepage here, but I don't think that's much of a problem. Do you want me to room it? No, I'm Why okay. Why do you not let me be myself? Because I don't need you to be yourself right now. I need you to be my assistant. So I'm just going to slowly dunk it right okay. into the hot oil and hear that sizzle. So you're like holding it in manually because like you just don't want it to, to, to possibly unfurl. Yeah, the likelihood of it unfurling is really high. And that's pretty much what it looks like. I eat it now. That's Josh, it's good. so That's hot! Pretty good. Oh my god, oh my god, I oh my love god! the way this is looking right now. Some of the oil is seeping out. How are you But I mean, that? this is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a little purse. What do they call it? A beggar's purse at like Chinese restaurants? Yeah, kind of. That's absolutely incredible. I really want to dig into this, but what you've created here, Nicole, this technology, I think you can use this as a flavor delivery mechanism for so many different things with chicken drumsticks. I also want to eat this, but no, no, I no, don't probably eat it yet. I probably shouldn't let it burn my fingers. No, no, no. Let's try some more. Let's ah, try some more. Let's try some ah, more. She's so strong. This is our son, <laughs> Kentucky, last name fried chicken. We love him so much.
All right, Nicole, wow, holy crap. So we fried a burrito around a chicken. Wasn't that crazy? That was crazy. You remember Sorry. watching that only a couple seconds ago? Watching it, I was doing it. I was doing it. Why would I watch them. it? It's talk me. To them. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that same thing, but a little bit of a chicken parm inspiration and a little bit of pizza inspiration. Wow. We got the world's smallest pepperonis. <laughs> v, did you buy these? <laughs> Nicole, we're gonna take a tortilla, we're gonna do a little, a little of that, a little of this. Did you learn? What? Yeah, do you, want, do, you, do, you want me to, do you want me to do this one? I would love for I you to this take, one. Right, take over. Hold on, I'm gonna grate up some cheese. <laughs> I can we decide to grate the parm fresh. We're fancy. We're fancy. Listen, high low. High low, that's, all that's it what is. we do. This would be Sbarro, Chipotle, and KFC. Yeah, I love how Sbarro is your, your pizza baseline. Of course it is, what else would it I, be? I try and speak very positively about all food that I eat. All food is an absolute, uh, absolute? <laughs> All food is an absolute gift, um, except Sabaro. Why? No one likes Sabaro. There is no one out there defending Sabaro. V, you like Sabaro? Who doesn't like What do you get? What do you get? I like their wet spaghetti. spaghetti. I like that their spaghetti comes with a quarter the cup of water. spinach pie. Oh, the, yes. the stromboli is really good. Never mind. Sorry, I forgot they have stromboli. We're taking that looks good. Some maz, some mozzarella. We're taking some of the parm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Chicken parm, and they had a little ronies. Wow, I love my little ronies. I, what I'm excited is the fat from the little ronies is gonna like leach out and sort of like perfume this chicken. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of like nestle it a little uh -huh, bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, there. exactly. And then I noticed we have a, a large tub of garlic butter. I imagine we're gonna dunk this in the garlic butter before submerging it in ranch. Yeah, that's a great idea. We always have ranch on deck here. What do you do? Oh, this is a nice. No, 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 do it. I'm. Um, Sorry, I didn't I'm even doing this like self-conscious. I'm, I'm always self-conscious. You know that. We both always. have our own insecurities. So insecure sometimes, yeah, both yeah. of us. And then we look in the mirror and we're like, wow, you're semi-attractive. We're hot. <laughs> Nicole, I got this. Do you want to wrap twine around it? There we go. There we go. This is so inefficient, there bro. We go. No, it's not. You're deeply inefficient. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> We've had like several meetings where it's like, hey, let's okay. are you, solve some efficiency there? issues for are you. Are any of your fingers there? I don't think so. Okay. Cool. If even my fingers are, I can just dunk it in the fryer. <laughs> Nothing can hurt these. It's a grizzly. Like I I I am mythical chef Josh of the house mythical the unburnt it's just nothing can phase these fingers I get that reference uh, no one has referenced game of, since the last season was so bad people stopped referencing it at all have you guys noticed that that's incredible to me no one cares about it all right drop that in the wait, fryer wait, 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 wait. the tongs you don't need the tongs Nicole the tongs are in your head oh you never needed the tongs the tongs are the, the, Michael's secret stuff was inside you the whole time who's Sp Michael space jam come on this is looking pretty solid. It's <laughs> right. It got a lot of hot Josh, oil. Josh, can I ask you a serious question? Yeah, yeah. Does that hurt? No. Josh, why? What why do doesn't that hurt? I don't know. I've done several things to train my body to not feel pain. Every um, human should be in pain when they do this, but for some reason, this I don't know, superhuman, subhuman, I don't know. What do you call this? Attention seeking. I'm gonna try something absolutely crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip it in the garlic butter. <laughs> hold on, Nicole, hold. <laughs> oh my have on. I want to see if this works because in my mind this is gonna work. You're a sick man. But I think Love we can it. get like a parm crust on this with the garlic butter. Drop it in there. <gasps> what? Drop it. Wait. Just wait. This isn't calling an audible. We didn't plan this. Literally, you, you took know? my recipe and then you bastardized it. Like you this? bastardized my recipe. What are you doing? Watch it be delicious, actually. All right. So now we got this. We got molten cheese. This is filled with just about a half cup of oil. Watch you turn it over, and there it goes. I think that's gonna be really delicious, Nicole. We took a drum, hold on. We took drumsticks uh -huh. and we fried them with tortillas around yeah. them, but now we're gonna take <laughs> drumsticks. I meant to have the box of the ice cream cones drumsticks down there, and I didn't. Why are you Nicole, get the drumsticks! Oh. V, V, drumsticks! And now we're gonna take drumsticks and we're gonna chimichanga some ass cream. Deep fried ice cream is one of the world's most delicious treats and one of the world's greatest innovations. It's like pretty hard to do at home. The, the way that I've been most successful with it is like dry ice in a super hot fryer. A lot of times you get meltage, but this, Nicole, can change people's lives. This they is- fry ice cream at home. An anomaly. Yeah. But a delicious This one. is the story of a girl. Who cried a river and drowned the whole world? That's exactly what I was referencing. <laughs> we got some a couple desserty things out here. What I was thinking, we could go one sort of like cookies and cream. We got hot fudge and Oreos wrapped around that. So you get molten fudge and Oreos with the cold ice cream and the crispy shell. This is all going into cinnamon sugar. Hot and then fluffernutter. My Nana used to make me fluffernutters at the lake house at Lake Wall and Popak. Shout out to the Pukanoos out there. And I'm really excited to try 
this one. Okay, go. take it away. Did you use the back of your spoon? I use the back of my spoon to spread peanut butter. Do wow, you know? I learned something new about you today. It's a much better way to spread peanut butter. Okay. And, and it's better than a knife, too. Go off, sis. And then I'm going to use the handle of the spoon for the fluff. <laughs> no, you're just trolling. I'm being silly. You want to start griddling the other shirt? Or no, I guess we got to deep no. fry it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good idea, there. like in your mind, but no. Got away. <laughs> That's so cute that you thought that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to kind of like nestle this in there. That's your actual accent, though. What? You just hide it. The yeah. No, that's not how I actually sound. Nicole, I listen to you for an hour every week. Wow, don't sound so sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I fudged it up. I got to drag it this way. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there see? Go. It's okay. It's a there process. It's a learning hold on, process. Hold on, hold on. We got to scrape it down. No problem, Josh. Take your time. Yeah, yeah. I am slow sometimes. No. Oh, don't look at me. What if you're doing this by yourself? That's a great question. What you can do is you can brace the chicken drumstick or whatever drumstick with your pelvis against the counter, and then you can kind of tie it here. Does that tie work? here. I recommend you do this with a friend. You know, okay. most of the time when people talk about old people, um, No, 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 you need to use tongs for this one. I don't believe I do. It's ice cream and chocolate. I think we're gonna be fine. Oh my God, I hate you. You know when most- Oh my when God, most... I hate you. Why? Tell the people why you're not using tongs. I'm not using tongs, you just pluck it out of there you with your hands. You wanna know why you use tongs? Because it starts to unfurl like no, this. No, go, just dug it, just dug it. You anchor me. I should've used tongs. Um, whoa. That's crazy. Oh, can I eat this right now? No, no, you no. You jackals no, no, over no. there in Video Village preventing me from eating this? Video Village? That's what it's called. That's what that area over there is called. Where is it? Sits. Yeah, Video Village, right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I use Barnes and Tones for the first time in conversation. We both knew like nothing about the video world. And so like we learn new terms and we just say them all the time. Yeah. Now, okay, so I know what you're saying. We've covered <laughs> ice cream drumsticks and tortillas and fried. We've covered chicken drumsticks and tortillas and fried. But now, can we take our hopes and dreams and wrap a tortilla around them and fry them? Nah, screw that. I want to eat these. I actually, I really want to eat these, and these are dying in the window. I need to eat these. Let's do it. Holy forking shirt balls, Nicole. We, <laughs> this is a tasting menu. We've created a tasting menu of deep fried chicken burrito bombs. Let's grab the chipotle first. Okay. Cause this is the OG. I'm gonna put a little bit of the hot sauce. You want Mine hot sauce? Mine has sugar on it. <laughs> yeah. No, I can dip it myself. Yeah, we all got things to complain about. Should we cheers it? Cheers. Yeah, dip it. Oops. Mash the sauces together. Mmm. Mm. That's really good. It's got all the flavors of chipotle burritos that you love, including the hot sauce, which mm. is fantastic. I ate some of the string. Honestly, an unreal burrito flavor delivery mechanism. So, what are you doing? I can't. You got bite in and suck it. Suck the grease out like a snake bite with poison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, right? No, cool. it's really Finish good. your first course. <laughs> We're moving on to the second course. How much ranch you want? <laughs> there we go. Wow, that was cool. Remember like whenever you go to a bar and a guy would do that with a bottle of beer? <laughs> you want some ranch? A, a light squirting. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> All right, cheers. You have no concept of anything. Mmm, mm. oh. better. It's like chicken parmesan to go. We should sell this. Yeah. Chicken parmesan to go. All right, but the dessert one. Nicole, it's melting, pick it up. Whose fault is that? I'm gonna try taking a big, big old bite. It's gonna explode in your mouth. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, good. This is absolutely incredible. The proof is in the the schleem that I'm covered in. But Nicole, we haven't sporked anyone yet. No, you haven't been sporked yet. <sighs> I was gonna make a, a virginal sporking reference, but now I feel uncomfortable with that. Nicole, you wanna spork me? Big time. I normally finish all my meals with just a solid tablespoon of ranch. Okay. You wanna spork me some ranch? Is that what you're into? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. well, oh, now I'm real into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get the ranch in there. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bottoms up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay, just finish. I'm trying. Keep the camera up. Nicole, I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Nicole! Nicole, you gotta feed me the ranch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, Nicole. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me here at the <laughs> Mythical Kitchen today where you work every day. And thank you all so much for joining us as well. We got new episodes out for you every week. We got new episodes of the podcast. <laughs> Nicole and I host the Hot Dogs and Sandwich out every Wednesday wherever you got your podcast. Wow, it's like a video, but you can't see anything. <laughs> Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen. It's like videos but shorter. I'm at so Mythical dirty. Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams Come Food. I'm so dirty. Right, we're, I'm gonna go hose off in the parking lot. 
We'll see y'all next time. Get as messy as you want in your own kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towel. Available now at mythical.com.